wildfires can burn more than twice as hot as the surface of Venus. Their flames can reach higher than a 16-story building, create hurricane-force winds, and move twice as fast as the average person can run. How on earth do you stop something like that? We spend almost $5 billion a year fighting wildfires in the United States. That money goes to fund a battalion of firefighting forces. Air tankers and helicopters are sometimes the first to attack, dropping water to cool a fire or phosphate fertilizer to slow its spread. Elite, super-fit firefighters arrive by air. Smoke jumpers parachute in. Hell attack crews rappel down to combat fires in remote, hard-to-reach places. First to arrive by ground are usually the hot shots. They're assigned to the hottest parts of the fire. They work in crews of 20, digging trenches and chopping down trees. The goal? To build a fire line free of flammable materials to stop the fire from spreading. The width of the fire line depends on what's burning. A few feet for a grass fire, much wider for a forest fire. Even the best fire lines can't stop a fire from jumping. Sometimes the conditions are too windy. It's up to the crew boss to decide where and how to build the fire line. Crews then divide the work into special roles. The spotter keeps an eye on the fire's movements. The sawyer uses a chainsaw to remove the fuel from the fire's edge. The swamper gets that material away from the fire. A crew might start a backfire to burn up any remaining fuel in the main fire's path. When the hotshot crews get stretched thin, it's time to call in reinforcements. These Type 2 crews help hold the fire lines and put out spot fires. These might be college students on summer break, or National Guard soldiers who've been given a few days training, or even crews of prison inmates. All told, a large fire can take weeks to put out and involve thousands of firefighters. As powerful and destructive as they can be, wildfires really aren't a problem unless they threaten places where people live. So sometimes, the best way to fight a wildfire is to not fight it. Letting some fires burn naturally decreases the amount of fuel for larger fires in the future. And perhaps just as importantly, many plants and animals depend on fire as part of their natural life cycle. In that sense, wildfire is kind of like rain, a natural and vital part of the ecosystem.